Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name is Matt Jarbo. This is Three Buck Theater. And you know, I am a big fan of the DCEU. I've been very open about this. I've been very vocal about this. I'm probably gonna get criticized in the comment section for once again talking about the DCEU because it exists. Unlike the mythical unicorn, Bigfoot, and paying lower taxes, this actually exists, and I'm 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 here for it. I'm 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 legitimately here for it. I will suffer through HBO Max not being on Roku right now while still giving them my money because I support it, and that is how much of probably a simp for the DCEU I am. And that's okay. I can take it. I can totally take it. But there was something today that, that was being talked about that I really, really, really liked. And that had everything to do with the fact that Zack Snyder confirmed that it was, in fact, Dick Grayson who we saw who had demised in uh, in Batman v Superman. Now, if you remember the scene with Affleck looking at the Robin outfit and they're saying on there, ha, 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 jokes on you, Batman, that people were really curious who that was. Was it Dick Grayson? Was it Jason Todd? We had no way of knowing. We had no idea. It was something that was possibly going to be explained later on, especially because right around that same time, Chris McKay was getting ready to work on a Nightwing movie and everyone thought, oh, he's coming off a of Lego Batman doing a Nightwing movie. So that probably means that uh, it's going to be uh, it's Jason Todd that's going to be dead because, oh, what was that that happened in Suicide Squad when we first got introduced to Harley Quinn? There was that flash on the screen that said, you know, implicated in the death uh, of Jason Todd and everyone thought that was Robin at the time. Turns out that's not the case. And as David Ayer the other day confirmed on Twitter, that was a Jeff Johns line. So I see what Johns was doing, probably because at the time he was the one running WB Films and he probably wanted to get Nightwing off the ground and he didn't want there to be any confusion about who Nightwing was. But having Dick Grayson be the one who quote unquote died is going to be fascinating because if you really pay attention to the subtext and the themes that are contained within Zack Snyder's films for the DCEU, it's a lot of it is about death and rebirth. It is. If you look at especially uh, the end of BVS with Superman's death and Justice League, Superman's rebirth, we look at the fact that in BVS, Batman had grown old and bitter and cynical after fighting crime for all those years that it took Superman to show him the light. Remember, he was so angry and so mad at Superman, at the idea of what Superman was, an unknown entity, an alien, that he did everything he could to lure him to a space where Batman could kill him because that's how much he feared him, feared what he could bring to this earth and he had to stop him at any and all cost. That was actually one of the best pivotal moments of that movie. And yes, it took the Martha moment to bring them together and F you, I love that moment. That moment is amazing to me because they took a simple thing such as a name and they tied it in to the death, the loss and the tragedy and then ultimately the rebirth. And again, the, philosoph the, the philosophies contained within Man of Steel and BBS are just mind blowing for what they've done. Um, again, rec I recommend Stephen Colbert from uh, the BVS um, By the Minute, which is a podcast he does. He works over at Screen Rant. He's really big into this. He breaks it down. Really good guy. Uh, puts out a lot of good content. So anyway, what cracks me up, though, about this whole thing with this reveal today that Zach had kind of given on Vero was simply just that we were going to get a we were going to get a tease of what happened to Robin. Injustice League, which again is going to further set up and build upon the DCEU. A lot of people were really mad that Jimmy Olsen was killed off in uh, BVS in the Ultimate Edition. We found out that that was Jimmy Olsen in the beginning, but Zach himself had said, look, he's like, I like Jimmy, but there is no place for him in this movie. So we just got rid of the character. And a lot of people, again, were upset at the time, but I think you have to somewhat kind of modernize and change these characters a little bit. And that does mean some slight alterations, but really the biggest with thing that people are upset about here is Superman, obviously. And I think they're wrong about Superman, but I think grounding it in a realistic world, especially in the case of Batman and Robin, is something that I find to be super fascinating. And it's another reason why I think Affleck's going to bring this massive emotional uh, arc to Justice League that I can't wait to see. And let me explain why. So if you look again at the, the whole story of Batman from the DCEU, everything we know, what has happened specifically is that he uh, fought crime for years. And like I said, he became bitter. He became cynical. And that when the cynicism sets in, that's when he started branding the people and sending them to jail. It was only later on we found out that Lex was having those guys killed in order to put a negative image of the bat out there, which is what he wanted to use in order to lure Superman to fight him. Again, 
excellent, excellent villainry from Lex Luthor in BVS Ultimate Edition. I'm sorry, Jesse Eisenberg did a really good job. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to defend that movie. I'm going to defend everyone in that movie because I love that movie. Uh, kiss my ass. So there's that. Uh, and then but really, so if you think about it, right, the idea there is Batman had Robin and there's a line. There's also the line in Justice League. And I don't know if that's from uh, I think it's from the original SDCC 2016 trailer uh, where they had or maybe it was a 2017 trailer. No, it was 2016. My bad. Uh, where they had that line about Batman and Commissioner Gordon and Gordon's like, oh, I see you're playing with friends. And it's nice to see you with friends again. And he's all like, you know, that may be temporary or something. I'm paraphrasing, but you guys get the joke. And the reason why that's important is that also ties in with this. Robin would have been his friend. Robin would have been his confidant, his counterpart, his ally, his sidekick, his, you know, what everything that Robin is. When Robin died at the hands of the Joker, we already knew that in David Ayer's Suicide Squad, we were supposed to find out that the whole reason why Joker had the damage tattoo and the grill was because when he killed Robin, Batman went off on him and and just beat him into a pulp. And that's what the whole point of the damage tattoo was, which I think kind of explains it a bit better, although I'm still not a huge fan of that tattoo specifically. But when you think about the emotional context there, especially when you apply it to how Affleck was or how Bruce Wayne was at the beginning of BVS and what caused him to target Superman as being a threat that needed to be stopped at all times, you can see that he's like he's already gone through so much loss and he's so bitter and angry and cynical that it blinds him. And I think that's going to be something we're going to see change throughout Je uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League, because if you recall, part of it was Batman found rebirth in regards to uh to to everything that happened in bvs superman sacrificing himself seeing doomsday what's coming what can happen and needing to put together a team of other metahumans in order to protect the world from whatever might be out there might be coming our way it definitely makes a lot of sense that he would talk about the death of dick grayson doc talk about the death of his young ward and talk about how it impacted him and how it made him more angry and more bitter and how that translated into anger and pain that he inflicted on other people there's so many emotional layers that are going to happen with batman uh, in zack snyder's justice league that's my opinion at least that i i personally cannot wait i'm so excited to see where things go and how things go and that is that's why i'm i'm really 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 excited about this just one little reveal of information and if you been paying attention at all to what Zach's been leaking, not leaking, but just kind of hinting at, teasing at, goading the audience with over the span of the last couple of years when it comes to what we would see in the Snyder Cut. It blows what we got with the Justice League movie out of the effing water. And what comes next, I think, is going to be amazing. Maybe not groundbreaking but amazing for what we could have gotten. And I hope that it's popular enough and powerful enough and amazing enough that it gets us both Henry Cavill and Ben Affleck back. And I know that's a tall order. I'm not, I'm not dumb, but I still want it to happen. And I want to hear your thoughts on it too. Let me know down in the comment section. I'll talk to you guys later. Have yourself a great day. Thank you again for watching everybody. Please like the video, subscribe, leave your comments below and peace the hell out.